Zach Netlinger with the Coon Rapids Bear Crusaders track team joining us down here at their Invitational. A couple of your events already in the book. Let's talk about the new one for you here tonight, the shot put. Kind of jumped yourself into that one tonight, uh, having never really done it before. How did that event go for you? <laughs> shot put. Uh, it was, wish I could have practiced a little more, uh, to be honest. It was fun though. Got six out of 11 people, 12 people. So for me, that was pretty good. There's 34 and a quarter. Just needed a foot more, but if I did the 4x8, wouldn't have ran that before. I think I could have mustered out maybe a foot. I think I could have got a foot to get fifth. But really, that was pretty good, I thought. Well, I was going to say, in doing that, you know, with how they really practice and just trying to get some points for the team tonight, that, that meant a lot, I'm sure, to your teammates. Yeah. Uh, coaches, remember, that's perfect. That's all they said. That's perfect. Just get us a point. Get us on the board there. Talk about the 4x8, uh, knowing you had the shot to do. What was going through your mind for the 4x8 tonight? 4x8, uh, we knew that we knew there was going to be at least two, Guthrie and Pate Shredan. And then so we knew we just put a – we didn't never had one this year with Brendan leaving and then everything happening. So we just tried to put one together here right before and just try and finish it, try and see what we can get. We ended up getting third there. I think that's six points, if I'm not mm -hmm. I'm for sure, yeah. So that helped just get some points here, trying to win this meet. So who, who ran it with you tonight? Uh, we started off with Mitchell, who's not the best at four, a four or 800. He's more of a mile guy. He's pretty good at mile. And then we saw, then we went with Patrick McAllister. It's kind of a wild card there. <laughs> <laughs> and then John was third, and then I was the anchor there. How did you feel running? Uh, by the time I got it, they were quite the distance. Yeah. So, just finished there. How do you, what, do you, what goes through your mind at that point then, as far as trying to catch it or cut time, or, or, or how do you try to keep yourself motivated to run hard? <laughs> Not much, really. Well, the second uh, leg, Trevor I caught up to Glenn and Guy. Riley just ran with him, because this is his last stop. So I just ran with him, kind of encouraged him to finish strong and everything. Then I just jogged last stop on myself. So then you also did the 4x2 tonight. Uh, how did the 4x2 go for you? 4x2 uh, went pretty well. Uh, me and Bubba's handoffs, well, he was first, I was second. We're, they were slow, but then when I got it, caught up to the you know, runners there. But me and Brandon and Riley's handoff were not. They're slow again, but then again, it's only our first time, like first meet. And we only had a day and a half. I was sick So we didn't have another day to practice. But then uh, I think we ran a 143 our first meet, this is which is this meet we ran 141-ish, 141.2, and Taylor didn't finish Davidson. strong. And I think we could have ran at least another two seconds faster there. So I think overall it was pretty good, but we could be at least two more seconds faster. Meters. So if you were sick yesterday, how are you trying to keep yourself uh, with some energy for your last uh, event of the night? A lot of stretching, just a lot of mental stuff right now, just trying to stay focused on the task at hand. Well, I tell you what, Zach, appreciate you joining us here tonight, and best of luck coming up in that 4x1. Thank you.